Before looking into the process of how to file the taxes, I'll tell you a few important things which might be useful to you when you have to file your taxes. I was married in January 2021, but my wife came to Germany only by November 2021. I I worked as a work student from January to May 2021. From May, I worked as a full-time Wissenschaftlich Mitarbeiter at TU Dortmund. Even though I was married when I started working at TU Dortmund, but my tax tax class was still one. Uh, this is because my marriage was not registered in Germany, therefore they, they could not change my tax class to three. Although when my wife landed in Germany in 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 November, uh, we we took an appointment for the city registration. After uh, after she got her city registration done, she got a letter from the finance arm after two to three weeks with her Steuer ID. Once she once she got that letter, uh, I requested the finance arm to change my tax class, and the main document which they requested was our marriage certificate. So this is how I was able to change my tax class and this entire process takes around a month approximately. Okay, now let's look at how to file your taxes. So uh, once you have logged into Elster, go to my magpie, then if you click on my forms and the submitted form, so here you will see all the forms that have been submitted so I have basically filed the taxes from 19 2021 so let's start a new form right now it will be income tax return unlimited tax liability a for the year 2021 let's look at this and so here um, if you have if you already have the uh, if you already have filed a tax return using Elster, then you can basically transfer the data or else you could just proceed with creating a new form. So if you don't have your data and you are like completely new to this Elster, then you'll have to uh, enter all your personal details. Right now, that's like too much for me. So I'll just import the data and that's basically faster. Okay, so I'll just take over. Yeah, okay, so it says data transfer is completed. So now this is the uh, home page. So just scroll down and go to the main form. And yeah, so basically the general information is all the all your personal information and your wife's personal information. And then so this is pretty important and it's like you can see it's green tick because the data has already been imported. So it's already been filled. Then it's uh, some other information which is which was not relevant for me. So basically all these uh, uh, links all these forms are empty I did not fill anything here but if these are relevant for you then you should fill them okay so I'll go back to the home page again and now we'll go to attachments n so for so as my wife did not work in the year 2021 so no no extra information to be filled for her i'll just so that's why i i just went into my name appendix n is the most important part of the tax return in order to fill this you will be needing a loan steuer bescheinigung from the finance arm this is the sample loan steuer bescheinigung uh, basically it's it's mine from uh, year 2020 this is how the document will look like and 
currently all these values are zero but in your loan store Bishanigong there will be the deductions which have been done from your salary in various categories okay so go to the information on wages and this is where you'll have to enter all the numbers which are present in the loan store Bishanigong so currently I changed my tax class as soon as my wife came to Germany so I was I am in tax class 3 now and my wife is in tax class 5 because she is not earning any income that's the reason I chose to be in 3 and she in 5 just fill the information on wages using the Lone Star Bishanigong and then move move to the third one so if you have any pensions or any other compensations only then this is required for you for me I didn't have to fill this because it it's not relevant to me and similarly um, the categories from like 4 till 8 they are not relevant for me so I just left them as it is but if they are relevant to you please fill them out it will save your tax then moving on to the income related expenses now this is the most important part of the appendix N and this is where uh, you, you can claim your basically uh, travel expenses your uh, the cost that you incurred for your workplace or your home office a semester ticket if you are still studying or or if you are student at the university all these things so let's look at all these one by one firstly the distance the ninth one the distance between home and workplace so here what I did was uh, as as I'm working as a vision sharpless metabiter so I I have a semester ticket so I added the expense of the semester ticket here you could also uh, so if you are driving to work then you, then then you could add those expenses so it's based on per kilometer it's like uh, they'll uh, they'll consider 35 cents per kilometer so and and it changes based on the distance your house is to your workplace I had to enter the place of my work the number of days I visited and the expenses so this 630 is basically the cost of the semester ticket for the two semesters that's 315 euros per semester so I just put 630 the finance arm could ask you for a proof of the claims that you have filed. If they ask for the proof, then you must send them all the requested documents by post. I did not make any contributions to professional associations, so I just left that field blank. Next is the expenses for work equipment. In the previous field, uh, that's the distance from your home to the workplace, there is an upper limit and you can have a look at the upper limit if you click on this uh, help button so this help button is pretty useful I suggest that you use this help button for each and every field and there it's and there it is explained in detail what all you can fill fill in here so here I filled the expenses for work and basically like I bought a chair and a table and I just uh, and I have the bills for both of them so therefore I filled the office furniture and the office supplies these two fields so here if the amount you fill it's quite reasonable and um, then then the finance arm will not ask you for the receipts but if it is quite high and does not sound reasonable then they might ask you for the receipts for me luckily they did not ask any receipts and they just refunded all my tax yeah so if you want to add just click on add more data and, and you can like easily add the fields here okay then the expenses for a home office in 2021 uh, the home office was was compulsory in many offices therefore they have this an an additional field for expenses for a home office you can include the cost like the electricity cost that that has increased because you're working from home and you need to charge the laptop and uh, any other specific equipment that you might need to work for a home from a home office for instance maybe a printer 
so in all just add all those costs and just uh, enter the amount again if if this is a reasonable amount then the finance aunt will not ask you for any receipts but if it is a bit higher then they might ask you so i would suggest please put in the expenses for which you have the receipts then the home office flat rate so basically uh, in in this you can fill in the number of days you work from home and for every for each and every day uh, the uh, finance aunt will allocate 5 euros so for instance here like i worked for 82 days so 82 into 5 it will be something around 410 euros that be a bit reasonable here while you are entering the days considering the uh, total number of working days the holidays the paid leaves and and the sick leaves then the training cost so if you have uh, taken any trainings for which your office has not uh, uh, refunded you then then you could enter those costs here for me i did not take any undergo any training so i just left it empty then the other income related expense i have entered four of these expenses the first one is account maintenance fees i i pay to the bank uh, uh, to maintain my account so it's basically for 3.99 euros per month so that that amounts to like 47 euros a year then uh, in the last year I, I also shifted my apartment and for that I have put an amount of 300 euros uh, that was basically the transportation cost then I have also put I have also put the cost uh, for, for the German course that my wife is undertaking and the cost of the books you can also include some other income related expenses if you have any and then uh, the travel expenses work related travel if you have which the off you, your office has not refunded you then you can include those here uh, similarly for the expenses of meals for me 16 to 19 were not relevant so i left them empty this is the income tax uh, return form that i submitted for year 2021 here 630 euros for the semester ticket then the office supplies that amounts to 110 euros then the type of uh, office furniture 199 then the equipment for the home office that the total is 240 then the home office flat rate for 82 days then the uh, account maintenance fees so these are the other expenses so in, in total one three five six is the to get the tax benefit of the change of tax lab firstly you need to enter the personal details of you and your spouse in the main form and then you need to enter the information on wages in appendix n the finance arm automatically calculates the amount of uh, tax that that should be refunded to you based on the change of your tax lab so it will consider your new tax lab from the month when when you were married or when you started a job so in my case I started working from the month of May so therefore they considered the tax lab to be changed from May till December so therefore the amount after filling all these fields just click on the next page and then it will give us give you a summary once you have filled all the fields click on next and then you'll come to this contributions with the pension plan then the contribution to the health health care so the, the, all these information you will get in the Lone Star Bishani Gung. So you, you can check that. So just go into the field, click on plus and just fill all the relevant fields to you. After you do this, you can come to the check and calculate tax. And here it will give you an estimated refund that, that you should get. You can uh, click on this and, and have a look at the detailed tax calculation once you have checked it then click on continue and then uh, you can submit the form 
after you have submitted the form you can go to your home page and click on my forms I'll just exit right now without saving go to the home page click on select submitted forms and here you should see the submitted form and the and the status so right now it's completed so that's why it's successfully submitted but then you can track the status over here and if everything works fine you you should get the refund within two to three months uh, for me uh, like once I once I got a refund after two weeks uh, but for the previous year I got a refund after two months so it, it depends that's the if you have any questions please put them in the chat thank you guys